Now for this evening's keynote address, it's, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our next leading voice from the government of Cambodia. This is His Excellency, Senior Minister, Minister of Commerce, Mr. Sun Chun Tho. He is also the Vice Chairman for the Council for Development of Cambodia. And his comments tonight will help put all of these themes that we've been discussing today into the broader context of the economy of Cambodia. So would you all please join me in welcoming His Excellency to the stage. Excellency Tom Con, Minister of Tourism, Excellency Kun Kunye, Deputy Director General of Apsara Authority, Mr. Uh, Mike Nelson, Mike Nelson, VP Communication of the Affair Asia Pacific of Google, Google executives and staff, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to be invited to deliver the remark to launch the Google Street View this evening at the magnificent 12th century Bayon Temple this evening. On behalf of the Royal Government of Cambodia, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude and appreciation to Google for investing a major resources to successfully realize the Google Street view of more than a hundred of the country's most significant monuments in Siem Reap and in the provinces in the kingdom. I also would like to express my appreciation and congratulations to my colleagues from the Ministry of Tourism, Absa Authority, Provincial Government, and Concerned Ministry for their full cooperation in supporting Google to realize this important Google Street View of ours, World Heritage Monuments, historical sites, historical sites in Cambodia. We are very proud of this wonderful achievement and we believe that this wonderful achievement will be available to anyone, anywhere, on the internet. We are excited to have so many fantastic three-dimensional images of wonderful kind of Uncle Wat, Uncle Complex, and other temples in Simbrip online. Additionally, many of the temples includes in this project are outside of the more developed parts of the country, which will encourage more economic activities in these regions, regions that have not benefited as much from tourism in the past. It may begin with tourism, but more type of businesses, activities will surely follow. Google Street View will empower more people in Cambodia and around the world to learn about the kingdom's many magnificent cultural and historical sites. This will surely contribute to the growth of our tourism industry, an industry that's already driving significant economic growth and employment in Cambodia. I also hope that the Swift View project, by making the internet more interesting and relevant for Cambodians, will inspire more young people to learn about the internet and development technical skills of their own. The population of Cambodia is young and dynamic. According to the information that I just Googled before coming here, the median age in Cambodia is 23.7 years of age, with an estimated population of 15 million. Yes, it's 23.7 years of age. You may wonder as to why the population of Cambodia is so young. I sadly wish to remind you that one generation of Cambodian was completely eliminated by the Khmer Rouge regime.
from 1975 to early 1979. In joining the Google Street View program, Cambodia takes an, up, um, an important step into the increasingly digital global economy. We are, we, are, we are hopeful that this step will bring further growth to our country tourism industry, responsible for more than 10% of our economy and growing, and nearly 1 million jobs for Cambodians. Speaking about direct as well as indirect impact, we can say that tourism-related economic activity is responsible for nearly a quarter of our GDP. As Minister of Commerce and Vice Chairman of the Council for the Roman Cambodia, I'm particularly interested in efforts like this one that contribute to development and diversification of our economic activities at the national as well as regional level. Aside from spurring more tourism from abroad, several other aspects of the Street View project have exciting potential for growth and commerce in the country. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, bringing more Khmer culture and history onto the internet will inspire young Cambodians to learn about, interact with, and even develop technology. It often takes a positive experience a Eureka moment to convince a young person to take a topic seriously. This project and other like, other like it will show students the vast potential and reach of the internet and hopefully inspire more of them to learn more about the underlying technology. With a more vibrant internet that's increasingly relevant for Cambodians, more businesses in Cambodia will be motivated to use internet as a springboard to expand their businesses at home and abroad. The number of internet users grew to almost 4 million at the end of December 2013, compared with 2.7 million users in 2012. As more and more young people get wired through PC and new mobile technology, Social media becomes an important communication tool to reach our youth. In order to keep up with and take advantage of the important and effective social media channel, the Ministry of Commerce created a Facebook page about five months ago. Since its launch, we now have over 21,000 fans. I encourage you to log in and check this out and please press like. Our fans are predominantly between the age of 18 and 35 years old. Two major systems to facilitate trades and investment are being developed. The online company registration and the online certificate of origin. These two systems will greatly reduce the time to register a company in Cambodia and to request a certificate of, certificate of origin. Moreover, it will reduce the interface between the government official and the businessman, which in turn will reduce, will cut down on official payment, unofficial payment of what you call corruption. As Cambodia continues to rob and its economy become more diversified. The digital economy will be increasingly important. The more we can do to encourage awareness and progress in that space, the better. E-commerce is very important for the digital economy. In this connection, we are in the process of finalizing our e-commerce law to allow e-commerce to grow and thrive in Cambodia. A vibrant internet economy requires not only access to the internet, but also interesting digital content that people want to access in the first place. As the government and private sector work to find creative ways to expand internet access to ever more Cambodians, initiatives like Google Street View continue to improve 
the web experience for Cambodians and the people around the world. Before closing my remark, may I take this opportunity to ask all of you to help fulfill our young people first for knowledge and to catch up with the rest of the wide world. Please be our mentor. Please be our partners. Please help bring us move us to the digital age. We will be so grateful to all of you. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. Enjoy your stay in Cambodia.